Hey, what's up guys? Before I start off this video, I want to say that uh, because I'm recording my videos a little bit different now, uh, there was a timer on the screen for no reason. Uh, in most cases, there's going to be no reason for the time. Ignore it. Uh, it's, this will not happen in my next videos. Thank you. Welcome, welcome guys. This is what I ended in my last video. I was fletching and here I am 61 fletching, but I'm running out of maple logs. I had like 2000. I'm not sure if I showed it in my previous video, but uh, that man, they added like a lot of buttons since I last played. I mean, I do have some bow strings, but I don't think I'll be using them for maple long bows. I think those are, I'm going to keep for like U logs or something to ALK in the future. And probably today's video is going to be just like my last one. I just kind of want to get my random stats up. There's probably going to be no goal but i just hate looking at like 17 fire making like it's just so easy to level up you know just burn some logs gives a lot of experience get those low levels up a little bit but since i have no money left i am wondering how much are these there we go 74,000. Now, I don't know if I have enough logs. I know that I have enough oak, but willow logs to get to 50 fire making. I will not be doing winter todd right now, but I just want to get to 50 ish there we go level 50 i did have to burn oak logs which i really didn't want to do because uh, i wanted to keep them for construction but i ran out of every single log now except oaks i still have like 200 left yeah i can do winter Todd now but i do not have any games necklaces because after the boss fight i like to teleport back so i don't have to run back because it's kind of annoying when you can teleport straight to the spot so i think i'm gonna go ahead and buy some sapphires i'm gonna make some necklaces and uh maybe do some Winter Todd a little bit. Of course, I will be using my most favorite place. This is the Blast Furnace close to it. And you can just buy sapphires. I think this is like the least crowded. I think I showed this before. I mean, sapphires are quite expensive to be honest. But I mean, I'll just get like full inventory of these. So when you tie Winter Todd at level 50 fire making, it's extremely fast levels. Each game that you do, you probably gain like a level and a half. And I only did 20 kills in the end. 20 kills, but I got to 60 six fire making look at that right there i wanted to go to 70 but i already did 20 kills i opened five chests already didn't get anything from that but i figured i would keep the rest of them for a video so let's try to open i, I i'm not even sure what i'm expecting but i get uh, a lot of these teak seeds i may uh go ahead and plant them once i unlock the from the quest but i'm probably looking for something anything those mahogany what God damn it, I thought it was like magic seed or something. I'm not used to those. Anyway, I'm 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 looking for the any pieces. Yep. There we go. That's one. I mean honestly, I don't even know what I was looking for. I just wanted to get my fire making level up. Isn't like the loot that you get based on your levels or something? So the higher farming it is, the the more you you, you get or something. And I actually started cooking Kanam once in Narda, which is not really a good idea. We're gonna see uh I burnt approximately maybe seven Kanam ones per inventory. So what I wanna try to do is I wanna see how much experience I'm gonna get. Zoom in, because that mouse travel you see, that's bad. You zoom in, there's like no mouse travel anymore and can... Uh, by the way, if you click on the oven, it doesn't work. I, I thought, oh my god, no more uh, mouse clicking. Nope. You click on it, look, doesn't pop out. It waits normally. It, it, it just waits normally. So you actually have to put active hours if you want a one tick kind of ones like this. Look at that. I'm going to miss a little bit, okay? I've never done this before, but I want to cook them fast because otherwise it's going to take like 16 hours or something. Oh, you've probably seen the timer on the screen the, the whole time. It says like two minutes or something. Uh, sorry for that. I'm going to reset it now. I'm going to see in one hour how much experience I can get. So by using one tick method, I managed to get 460k cooking experience an hour. It should be a little bit higher since I was burning some. I mean, that's a lot of burnt actually in my bank. So the because uh, the guide said that the experience is, goes up to 600k XP an hour. But how does it compare with just regularly leaving it like afk normal cooking one hour later and i'm getting 245k experience an hour which is pretty much almost two times less than i was doing like very actively so i think it all comes down like how much effort you want to put in this like me nah i'll just <laughs> i'll just afk this like I, I don't see myself clicking all the time like for all i have like eleven thousand left now it's no longer 16k in the bank so i think it's kind of like if you want to go to mother load mine to afk or you can choose like two tick or whatever it's called the granite or iron ore it's it's pretty much like like that well let's see um uh, oh i don't know what happened here i was starting to cook like poison kind of ones but i do have almost four thousand combine that with lobsters very good combo food while doing slayer so how about we try to get 
I don't know if I should be doing any more wilderness tasks. I think I'm gonna calm down for now. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I am now 75 cooking, but it's gonna be a huge gap if I continue catching Karam ones because they only give 50 experience in fishing, but almost 200 while cooking. This is gonna be the very fit Slayer task that I get, like an actual Slayer task. I'm gonna ask him to stop checking my comet level. I can take on anything because uh, last time, trust me, this guy really gives like terrible tasks. It's almost like a uh, Burthorpe, Slayer Master. Anku. Thank you. What the hell? No. I still didn't have the underground pass completed, so this is the perfect time I'm gonna be using the staff to kill Bronze Dragon. And of course, since I didn't have any money, I had to go and do some agility pyramid, and now I'll have only 2,000 left. That's literally, I, I actually was so lazy to do agility pyramid, I alt uh, rune longsword. Actually, it's fully charged too. Hey, thank you. I thought I had to go all the way back to the thing. Oh, boy, whoa, 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 we got a... Got a clue scroll, maybe this one. Ring of Life, Rune Axe, and Mithril Playlegs. I can try to complete this one. I actually managed to complete the clue scroll. Very first one. I don't think I completed one easy clue even. Let's see. Dragon Heart. Wait, I have body and I have chaps from first clue. Black. It's uh, it's some alcables that I needed all the time. Oh. Yes, it's a blessed Dragon Hide as well, which means it gives a little bit of prayer bonus. This pest control teleports and these will go straight to Alking because I do have legs already. I bought them myself. Well, it turns out that the bronze dragon task was not bad at all. Because I remember on my previous item and I just tried and tried to get the legs, because chaps, because I had like four bodies already and I just couldn't. I kept completing the clue scrolls. The problem with me doing this clue scroll though is that I used up my ring of life. Like, I, I didn't notice I still have one food in the inventory and he was so close to dying and... Now I don't have it and I, I can't make it because my crafting level is so low. Hopefully I don't disconnect because if I do disconnect when I come back to Bronze Dragons, I'm gone. Oh, a mossy key. So yeah, I did get a mossy key, which means that I will be able to probably defeat the boss, which is uh, most of the drops are very good, but uh, it's the problem with mossy keys because the drop rate is one in 150. But once you get it, it's gonna be like guaranteed like 10 or 20 or 30K even, or maybe even the unique staff drop. Now this is where you actually see the true difficulty of the boss as a lower level, because on my main account, I just killed it like it was nothing. Sometimes it would barely spawn these things. One time maybe, one time a fight. This time, because I was so low damage dealing, it spawned like seven times. But in the end, I only got like Chaos runes. I think at this point I skipped quite a few Slayer tasks that I had. Current Slayer level is 38. I think I'm gonna be stopping soon because I'm really not a big fan of these weird, just completely weird tasks that I get like cave slimes and stuff, which is like 13 to kill, which is very fine to get some Slayer points, but you only get like four Slayer points per task. It's just not worth it. So I'm gonna do one more, which is Ice Warriors that I have to kill now, but I do have a medium clue in the bank, and they can drop a medium clue. So I wanna complete this one before I go and do the task. All right, let's open this very first medium clue scroll. Honorable blessing, man, I, I, I love this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be used, definitely. Wait, I hope you don't need like a prayer level or anything. Nope, it's a uh, Seredomen, isn't it? Oh, I think it's Armadil because it says Law. And Book of Law is Armadil. Oh, it is that time again. Man, I hate this place. This is where I died on one of my uh, hardcore ironments. So, I, you know, I, I hope it's not going to happen the same thing. I have regular anti-poison, which is not really promising. I need to drink them like every, what is it, like two-minute immunity? One minute, maybe? So I'm going to try to get the Xerix Hamlet because otherwise it's really, really terrible to just walk around Zia everywhere. Sometimes I need to go for clue scrolls or something, and it's like I have to walk all the way from Winter Todd or somehow get to Port Sanum and make my way through there. So I'm just wondering how long it's gonna take me to get the amulet. I'm gonna reset the timer. You will not see the timer, unfortunately, because... Oh, am I down? Didn't he? What? Well, I guess I have it already. <laughs> I guess I do, but now there's a problem because... Okay, timer says three minutes, by the way. Now, because I got it so fast, I actually have no charges. I have only one... Uh, fang in there, so I have one teleporter now if I use this, so I kind of don't have it at the same time, you know what I mean? So if I would get a second one, I could dismantle it for a hundred charges, that would be fine, but I think I'm gonna camp them for like half an hour, and let's see how many fangs I can get during the time, maybe I can also make myself 
Xerixian armor since I don't have any mage armor too, but I want to see if it draw up oh, there we go So I will be able to recognize it on the floor. God damn. I almost lost it almost lost it and potentially the future ones too Approximately 25 minutes later. Let's see. I have 11 charges, which is fine because I don't plan to teleport here often But uh, the most important thing is the Xerixian clothes. So let me just teleport back quickly Okay, hopefully I have the crafting level. I know it's very low. Oh, there we go. That's the body and there's gonna be the legs I am missing the uh, The hat, but I think it's fine. I have the wizard hat in the bank anyway uh, Yeah, that's gonna be all for this video though. Thank you very much for watching. It took me so long to make this one I I don't know what what I don't know. I have no excuses to be honest. Hopefully the next one is gonna be much faster. Thank you and bye